Sixth grade was one of the toughest years of my life. My dad lost his job and my family was put on food stamps. We were very appreciative of the help and never thought entitled at all. Growing older, I realized this is not always the case. Sometimes you have what I like to call the cockroach effect. The cockroach effect is when people are not thinking about anybody but themselves. They add no value and they just consume instead of contribute. Every generation before us raised their kids to do better with the want to do better for themselves than than what they had. Now we're in the third generation of a welfare system and the parents are just teaching their kids how to work the system instead of actually contributing to society. It's gotten to a point where people aren't grateful of the help, but instead they feel entitled. I came from a very church background and very church-involved family. We always were felt very a sense of gratitude and thankfulness because we were able to see people around us that were way less fortunate than ourselves. We had missions trips, we did missions projects, and one of my favorite ones was when we had an M&M can that we had to fill with quarters and the one of the mini M&M cans, and I would go to the bank after I got my allowance and I'd say I need this all in quarters so I can fill up my little can because I realized that there's kids in Myanmar that didn't have money for books for school and I wanted to give my money that my allowance to them to help them out. I realized that all my groups of friends in high school also were church involved in, and had the same sense of gratitude that I did. Whenever I would go to my friend's house or whenever my friends would come to my house, it was the same deal. We would always say thank you to our parents. We'd always say thank you to their parents for the pizza or for just letting us come over to our house, to their house and to spend the night or just hang out. Um, Now, coming into college, I realized that this wasn't a normal, this wasn't an absolute thing, that there were kids out there that these values that I grew up in were not instilled in them and not instilled in everyone. We, they have this attitude that's just all about me and all about myself instead of this attitude that there's something much bigger out there that we can contribute to. Now, I like to bring in the um, idea that was brought up by Lawrence Kohlberg with the stages of moral development. Now, there's three stage in, t- stages, and in each stage, you are kind of progressing. Now, the first stage is um, pre-conventional mor- morality, and this is kind of what, if you think of like a little kid, they why they do things is because they only... The only thing they think of is how can this punish me or how can this be a uh, help for me or like a gain? Like, what can I get out of this? Like, let's grab a cookie. Well, I get a cookie. What's the bad thing? Well, my mom could give me a spanking. You know, that's all their brain thinks about. Conventional morality is the next stage. And with this one, it's determined by the social factors. So it's not that they they just do everything to the social norm. I like to think of this as like water in a glass or water itself. Because if you put water in any container, it'll just form to the container. It just goes along with the social norms. They obey the expected rules. Then the last one um, is post-conventional morality. And I like to think of this as like a rock. If you put a rock in a glass, it's still a rock. It's going to stay a rock. This rock, or the idea behind this, is that you develop an idea behind, and you develop um, personal morals, and you act according to those morals. And you also realize that your actions have effect on other people. Not that your actions are, a, you do what you do because of other people, but instead that your actions, what you choose to do, how that affects other people. When I with this, it really just makes you think, what stage am I at? What stage is the America at? Or what stages are these kids in college at? Um, it also made me think of the failure of Rome. You know, it was very innovative to change, and then it flipped to the idea of me, 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 and pleasure and everything, and Rome fell like that. Now, the question is, is this going to be America's downfall?